Oops. All right, guys, just a quick here martial arts talk. I know I haven't been, you know, making these videos in a while or any tutorials really. Just a lot of um, prediction, MMA, UFC videos, some glory, um, some Bellator. But, um, you know, uh, martial arts right now to me, you know, the way how I see it, you know, it's, um, it has changed, you know. But it all depends on. And, and what you see out of the martial arts or what you want from it, right? If you're just training by yourself, just doing your own thing, you know, not really paying anybody any attention, it doesn't really matter, right? But if you're trying to get into movies or, you know, on YouTube, you try to do collaborations and all these things, you try to go to Hollywood, you know, there's a lot of things that um, you need to understand, you know, and a lot of things is not going to work out the way you thought it would work out or if it does work out it's not what you thought it was going to be like <laughs> once again in there right so this is a q a video also you know a couple questions some people been asking me along the way you know some people ask me you know why i don't have a school you know i don't open up a martial arts school you know and you know what man i mean we had a school way back from I believe 94 to 96, <laughs> 1994, <laughs> 1996, and you know, been there, done that, and having a martial arts school itself, there's a lot of work that goes into it. It's not just going in there and just training people, right? There's a lot of, um, you know, bills and all these things, and um, promotions and all these things that you have to do, right? so you have electricity you have light you know it depends on where you're renting the place from you know you have water you know all these other things you have to pay for then you have to get the students to come in you know back in the 1990s it was kind of different you know because we didn't we didn't really have social media so much you know but you know it's sitting now social media is so huge that um you can build yourself from just off social media alone you know you don't really need even need to have a school you could just do your classes in the park <laughs> you know you just can set up one of those um invite things on facebook and just invite people to come through and if people come they come depending on how much subscribers you have right so um and for me man i just i just don't really want to teach anybody at this moment you know, I just don't really have the energy for that. You know, I'm busy doing other things, you know. Not being selfish, I just don't really have the energy to really go out there and train people, right, at this moment, right. I mean, I make um, prediction videos, and I talk a lot about the martial arts on the prediction videos, but, you know, that's as far as I'm going to go at this moment. And, you know, as I said, every once in a while, I will drop a tutorial here and there, you know. Um, when I mention martial arts on YouTube, um so that there's a lot of things you need to understand right martial arts on youtube now it's becoming more of a subscriber thing you know the subscription is what makes you <laughs> you know like i guess i could say the more popular martial artists right so basically in my opinion you don't need to really know any martial arts <laughs> you don't even need to know how to kick properly or you know have any form any technique or you know have any training you know you just need to have a subscription subscribers when i mean by subscribers i'm talking about maybe up in hundred thousands you know once you get up there in hundred thousands even sixty thousand or so forth you know whatever you were doing to get that or get those subscribers you know you must have doing something that you know the subscribers I'm like so they keep coming to you and more people keep coming to you so nowadays it's not really what you can do as far as you know your movement your techniques how much knowledge you have it's just basically you know the subscribers really you know and um, who you know also right somebody can put you on too right which that's going to go on collaboration right 
and that's the thing nowadays man that I've noticed right like back in the days you know when I train and I still train now but back then there was no social media there was AOL that was coming up but I was like early what, 91 92 I think but it, you know, it wasn't as popular right but everything was just done you know by word of mouth by phone by flyers and you know when we used to train it was different right if we see somebody training and you know we look at them and like damn man that's a nice kick you're doing there man you know can you teach me that kick you know there wasn't any social media to post up any kicks all over the place but you know you see somebody doing something and you don't know the person you know you kind of will share ideas right you know and you know we'll train together you know it wasn't like um you know like hold on man um how much money you have in your account you know you need to have at least a hundred thousand in your account you know before i can start showing you any kicks <laughs> you know it wasn't like that man it was genuine you know you genuinely you say hey man you want to spar you know work some techniques and you know, i like the way you move you know you can teach me your movement your kicks and you know we work together that's all i used to do it back in the days nowadays you know on the youtube thing is more like you know uh, <laughs> it's it's like on a subscriber thing you know if you don't have certain subscribers man it's like you know people won't look at you or they won't want to work with you or deal with you you know for me as i said you know i've been doing martial arts for years and still over 30 odd years so me personally i've been in film and video productions too so you know that that's what i studied in college right i have a bachelor's in film and video productions but as I said, I kind of was going that path. And as I said, you know, sometimes when you get into something and you know how it really is, you know, you tend to, you know, don't want to be a part of it. You kind of drift away from that. You kind of just want to do your own thing, you know, which, as I said, social media is huge. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube is huge. You don't really need Hollywood or anything like that to promote yourself you know if you're consistently promoting yourself on a daily basis on social media that could actually work out for you more if you're trying to be popular I guess right remember when you're in Hollywood or you're making a movie you probably can come up with maybe two or three movies a year you know you're on social media you can make movies every day <laughs> right so I mean that's just what it is man I mean it just just depends on what you want out of life and what you want out of the, out of the martial arts if you want to be on the big screen Hollywood so forth so forth then if that's the road you want to travel that's the path you want to take in your journey you should go for it and see how it is you know it might work out for you right? you know and you might love it or you might not love it right but um, yeah man so that's just basically what it is just on the YouTube thing it's just more of a status kind of thing and um, you know how much subscribers you have and that's it you know if you if you don't really have that much subscribers but you're good at what you do and you have the skills you know you know you can't deny it you know the technique the skills you have the knowledge you know you're a martial artist but you just you know you don't have that hundred thousand to where somebody is gonna say you know hey you know let me let me work with you let me collaborate with you you know you don't have that so it's like just like anything else I should say you know that that goes for even in Hollywood too is the same thing right so I believe YouTube is kind of traveling that path of you know it's just status you know who you know you know what can you offer me you know can you make me even more popular than I am now that's the thing so if you only have a thousand subscribers and you have somebody that has a hundred thousand but you know you have way more skills movement I should say even talent knowledge in martial arts that doesn't matter because you don't have a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand right so it basically comes down to your status right what do you have what can you offer me 
and that's going to be your subscription your subscribers you know you have the wickedest skill wickedest technique your martial artist you know what you're doing but you only have a thousand subscribers nobody's going to deal with you <laughs> right and that goes also with um money like say um if a guy has a million dollars right and the next guy say only has a hundred dollars right but you have the knowledge now and you know what you're talking about right that guy with a hundred dollars right but the guy with a million dollars he doesn't know anything you know he's just lying and cheating and you know try to lead the people them astray lead people in the wrong direction that's how he got his million dollars right do you know that majority of the population will take advice from that guy with a million dollars just for the simple fact because he has a million dollars and he has more money you see so the value is placed on money having more money being more popular means that you know what you're talking about with certain people now there's other people who understand that's not true right and that goes for YouTube subscription too. Having more subscribers, that means that you must be famous or you know what you're talking about. Right? But I know that's not true. Right? You could have zero subscribers. You could just be someone that I met on the street. Once I talk to you and I understand where you're coming from, I go from there. You don't need to have a thousand or a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, or you don't need to have hundred thousand subscribers for me to deal with you on that level as far as collaboration or exchanging techniques or sharing ideas basically you don't need to have any of that you know once I feel the realness in you and I see what you're doing and it's genuine and I love what you're doing that's all that matters man the numbers money don't mean nothing man because if you base it off of that then it's not gonna be genuine because nowadays you know certain people with a million subscribers and a thousand subscribers in my opinion don't know what they're talking about but that's what we're dealing with nowadays and this has been going on for a long time too right it's just that social media is is at a high right now and back in the 80s and 90s there weren't no social media so to get recognized in a sense was a little bit different you know you need an agent and all these things and you'd have to go in and do additions you know there wasn't any like you know was it any whatsapp or any um sending pictures to um facebook or instagram you know they have none of that so it's a little bit difficult back then you know you would have to really grind and you know you really really would have to actually um um be honest and show yourself for real you know you couldn't hide anything you know it's either you have it or you don't right nowadays it's just you know gimmicks and lies and you know fake accounts fake status and all these things right so always remember you know don't put value you know so much on money or on subscribers you know thinking that you know this guy has a lot of money so you know he knows what he's talking about and we're gonna listen to him because he's popular and if he has a lot of money then he should know what he's talking about you know that's the last thing that you want to do never want to put value on money like that trust me and that goes for subscription and subscribers too you know, because a guy has a million subscribers or thousand I mean that he knows everything he's talking about you know it doesn't work like that you know you want to really do your homework really get to know the person as best as they can you know and again man it's gonna be hard to find somebody that's genuine like that that's gonna really sit down and talk to you on a one-on-one -on -one basis and be honest and look into your eyes and you know you guys can share ideas and you know just kind of kick it off like that that's very hard to find nowadays because nowadays everybody always want to get something they always want something or, the, or they're there to up you up you one up you two or they're there to destroy you or break you down that's basically it 
where it's hard to find an honest person out there, right? Like Billy Joel said, honesty is such a lonely word. Everyone is so untrue. Honesty is hardly ever heard and mostly what I need from you.